When I think about Kimco as a brand, I think about the car industry and names like Kia and Hyundai, who have not only entered into the North American market, but have made a statement. The MXU 700i LE EPS is the unit that I'm testing today, and it's as good looking as it is feature packed, coming standard with automotive metallic painted plastics, a large front chrome encased grille, LED accented headlights, a full digital and analog display package, and beefy and stylish steel racking. And truly, that's not the half of it. The truth of the ATV and side-by-side -side industry when bringing a lesser known brand to market is not that you have to come with a feature matched vehicle, but you have to come with a vehicle sporting more of everything except price. And while Kimco truly delivers on the features, the price tag is still knocking on the door of competitive North American product. So with that said, they'd better be delivering exceptional performance, not just a lot of bling for the buck. The MXU 700 is a 695cc single cylinder overhead cam liquid cooled motor that produces power somewhere in the neighborhood of 45 horse. Unfortunately, right off the get-go, Kimco has placed themselves in the big bore category with only 570 competition horsepower. However, keep in mind the 700i is priced almost identical to a Sportsman 570 limited edition with matching features. Does the 700 deliver? As long as you keep the horsepower numbers in check, you bet it does. The power produced by the 695 is more than adequate to break the rear tires loose and squirt some dirt. And reaching high digits out on the trail? That's not a problem either. Again, keeping in mind the horsepower, this Kimco is tons of fun out on the trail. It gets you up to trail speed in a hurry and produces the hallmark single-cylinder big bore torque we all enjoy, meaning out of the corners acceleration is quite aggressive and provides a thumpy exhaust grunt that's sure to please. Suspension travel is 6.2 inches in the front and 6.8 in the rear with 11 inches of ground clearance total. While you should expect some bumping and grinding out on the trail, the 700i does a good job of providing acceptable travel and ground clearance for this class. The shocks are your standard unbranded steel body gas charge dampers and linked to a decently designed dual A-arm front and rear suspension. The travel is plush while not becoming overly rolly. And when you do decide to get this thing off the ground on a little trail booter, ergonomics and driver positioning lay out pretty decently with suspension handling for a predictable and easy to control takeoff. The landings, well, they're held back by a less than desirable budget shock. Helping the MXU feel so positively grounded is a set of 25 inch Maxxis Bighorns. No, these are not the 2.0s, these are the originals, and I actually prefer them. Wrapped around a 14 inch, very current looking black aluminum rim, Kimco didn't just get the rubber right, they got the look right too, with a very big offset, deep dish look that's truly one of the best looking stock rims in the industry. Their big horns grip like crazy and thanks to their aggressive tread blocking really help keep the MXU's 45 horsepower moving forwards with minimal rear end slippage. While there is much to love about the 700i, there are some obvious drawbacks for this price tag and premium badging that I think need to be addressed to make this a serious competitor. While I do think the handling characteristics of the MXU are acceptable, I know that a shock upgrade from a company like Fox or Elka would take this rig to the next level. At the price the MXU comes in at, the shocks just do not cut it, and a piggyback or even a monotube aluminum take apart with threaded preload would make a world of difference. Kimco's made some serious inroads in the North American market with a number of different models that we've not only enjoyed, but have been very aggressively priced. The 700i, on the other hand, while being feature packed and providing acceptable performance, definitely needs a tune up on the price. Power steering, 3,000 pound winch, LED lights, trick rims, brand name tires, it all leads you to believe this is a premium model. And it is. But when you line it up against a competitively priced and equal horsepower machine like the Sportsman 570 SP Limited Edition Black Pearl, sporting more on the features list, your final purchase decision becomes harder to make. At the end of the day, the 700i LE EPS delivers acceptable performance, and it's sure to give those who are dedicated to Kimco a solid premium offering that's feature packed, and I'll keep them pleased day in and day out while they're out riding the trails. Like the video you just saw? Do you want to see more? Click the subscribe link and add the Dirt Tracks channel, and you're going to see a whole lot more great content.